Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to make a small dish in the shape of the leaf with the mosaic. The bottom of the dish will consist of two parts. We will start from making the bottom part. Take one sheet of the office paper, crumple it very thoroughly, straighten it up a little bit and paint it in the desired color with the brush. I am using the homemade stain. I used the same stain for dyeing the paper rolls which I prepared for weaving the walls of the dish. Let the paper dry. After it fully dried, apply a layer of the acrylic varnish. I use Mod Podge. Let the paper dry again. Meanwhile, cut out the leaf-shaped template from the cupboard. The size of my template is 28 by 17 cm. Glue the prepared paper sheet to the template using the white glue. Cut out the template, leaving the margin approximately 15 mm wide. Make the cuts all around the margin and glue it to the corrugated cupboard. Place something flat on top of it, I use the plastic cutting board, and press it down with a heavy object. Let it dry for at least 8 hours. Take another piece of cupboard, similar to the cupboard used for making the boxes for the cereals. Draw the same leaf shape on it. Draw the veins. Assign a number to each section of the drawing. Cut all the sections out. Write the same numbers on both sides of each section. I recommend using the ink of two different colors so that you could easily distinguish between two sides. Now we are going to make a mosaic. I have a lot of cutoffs of the paper rolls left from making other baskets, so I take a handful of them and glue them randomly to one section at a time. Choose the direction of laying out the paper rolls at your own discretion. Cover the whole area of the section and leave small pieces of the paper rolls outside the section on both sides. We will trim them later. One section is ready. Make all the remaining sections in the same manner. Apply a thin layer of glue and let everything dry. When all the sections go dry, cut them out and arrange all the pieces in the right order. Take one more piece of thin cupboard, draw the same leaf shape on it and glue the prepared pieces of mosaic onto it. Let the glue dry.
Place something flat on top of it and press it down with a heavy object. Let it dry for at least 8 hours. After it fully dried, conceal the seams between the sections of the mosaic. I use the paper rolls of the black color that I have moisturized and cured. Let the glue dry. Cut the mosaic out. Trim the paper rolls on the sides if necessary. Both templates are ready. Now we need to glue the spokes in between them. Mark the spots where the spokes will be located. The distance between the spokes should be approximately 15 mm. I will be using the moisturized and cured weavers. Apply a layer of glue to the cupboard template and attach the spokes to the marks you made. Apply glue to the back side of the second template and glue two templates together. Since the spokes are wet and that's the way we want them to be up until the glue dries, place the plastic straws on them to keep the moisture in. Place something heavy on top of the templates and let the glue fully dry, which will take at least 8 hours. After the glue dries completely, remove the plastic straws and bend the spokes this way. Tighten everything up. I made a mold using a lid from the round box and some cupboard. You can use a jar or any other cylindrical object of the right size. Put the mold on the glued templates and secure the spokes in place using the elastic band and clothes pins. Let the spokes dry before weaving. Insert three weavers between two layers of the cupboard. The weavers should be moisturized and cured. The links to the video tutorials where I explain how to do it is in the description of this video. Weave the walls of the dish with a three rod twine. We have reached the first spoke. Step up to the next row, starting from the rightmost weaver. Weave three more rows of the three rod twine in the same manner. Trim the spokes and replace them with the moisturized weavers. Cover them with the plastic straws. Weave one more row of the three row twine. Mm -hmm. 
finish the last row starting from the rightmost weaver, but instead of placing it behind the spoke and out to the front, poke it under two already woven rods. Weave the three rod border. I explained how to make it in several other video tutorials, but I will still keep the video of the process here too. Trim the weavers left from the three rod twine. The last thing you need to do is to prime the dish. The link to the video tutorial where I explain how to do it is at the top right corner of the screen. Now the dish is ready. <laughs> 